In this video, I'm going to show you the effect of transforming a random variable by either adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing by a constant. So let's say um, y equals a plus bx uh, is a linear transformation of the random variable x. Okay, so in other words, we had some random variable x, and we're going to multiply it by some number and then add a number to it. Okay. Or, you know, you could think of division as inverse, so 1 over b and, or minus or negative a, you know. So addition, multiplication uh, work the same as subtraction and division, as long as you treat it as inverses. But the probability, so these are the three things that could happen. The probability distribution of y has the same shape as a probability distribution of x if b is greater than 0. And so what that allows you to do is, is use these two equations. So the mean of this transformed uh, probability distribution is now a plus b times the mean of the original uh, probability distribution. And the standard deviation, which I have here, is uh, of the new distribution is equal to the absolute value of just the multiple. Of the, of the old standard deviation. So you don't have to worry about um, adding a number does not affect the standard deviation. So they're adding to your original does not affect standard deviation. Only multiplication does. And so what does that mean? I mean it looks like a lot of gibberish. So here's, a, here's an example. So this is a discrete probability distribution where I let x represent the number of passengers on a randomly selected taxi cab trip. So imagine we're in a in New York, we're in a cab, um, or we have cabs driving around, and uh, you could have the possibility of zero. I'll just kind of point that out: zero riders, zero passengers on this trip, because maybe the driver is just heading back to uh, the garage or whatever. You could have um, one passenger. You could have two passengers, or you could have three passengers to fill up the back seat. And uh, let's say the probability, again, I made this up, so uh, the probability of having zero passengers in this randomly selected cat taxi cab ride is 0.1. The probability of one passenger is 0.4. Probability of two passengers is, is 0.3. And the probability of three passengers is 0.2. Or 20%, 30%, 40%, and 10% if you work backwards. So first thing you need to do is calculate the expected value. So mu sub x would equal um, 0 times 0 0.1 plus 1 times 0 0.4 plus 2 times 0 0.3 plus 3 times 0 0.2. And I, I assume you've done this before if you're to this point. So we can expect, um, if you calculate this out, we can expect 1.6 passengers um, on a randomly selected taxi cab ride. And then we go ahead and calculate the standard deviation. So sigma sub x, while well, that color is a little rough to use. So sigma sub x equals, um, in our case, you just do the, it's the sum of the square of the differences times the probabilities. So you'd have um, 0 minus 1.6 squared times 0 0.1 plus 1 minus 1.6 squared times 0 0.4 plus 2, whoops, plus 2 minus 1.6, 1.6 squared times 0 0.3 plus 3 minus 1.6 squared times 0.2. Okay, and I, and I notice this is, excuse me, this is the equation for variance, so it should be sigma squared um, x. And then, so after you calculate all this, unless I have an error, um, my sigma x is equal to, um, or sigma squared x, your variance, is equal to 0 0.84 and if you take the square root of that sigma x is uh, is going to be um, 0.92 0.92 ok 
Okay, so now we're going to perform a transformation on this. So we've got our, our mean and our standard deviation. And, uh, and uh, so here we go. So let me write those together so I can get to them quickly. So our mean, our expected value is 1.6. Our sigma sub x is 0 0.92. And let's say that um, every time the taxi cab driver uh, gets, has a person ride with him, he gets another $10 bonus. Um, so we're going to multiply. Uh, so we want a new expected value. We want to know how much um, he is going to make and uh, based on this, what's his expected uh, gain you know, for, for this bonus $10 uh, uh, per passenger uh, fee. So what we do then, and so if, if it's, whoops, if it's just multiplication, we would uh, go ahead and uh, based on our formula, so let me go back to that. So here is our two formulas, and we're only doing multiplication in this case. Um, so if it's multiplication, we're going to take our $10, which would be B, times our mu. And that will be our new standard deviation, or our new mean, excuse me. So, since our mean was 1.6, our new mean with this $10 increase is going to be 10 times 1.6. Or he can expect $16 um, per, per taxi. And then is or per per uh, yeah per per cab ride, and then our standard deviation um, of x was I already forgot it uh, 0.9. Let me find it there. Yeah, 0.92. So our standard deviation is 0.92. So our new standard deviation uh, with the ten dollar per rider uh, increase or bonus. It's just going to be the absolute value of 10, which is still just 10, times, and I'll put those absolute values in there so we don't forget about them. We always want it positive. So it's just going to be 10 times 0.92. So our standard deviation um, is going to be um, 9.2. Uh, and so that's if it was multiplication. You can imagine with addition, um, you know, let's let's say... Not, I don't even know what the situation would be, but let's say we wanted a third one, and maybe we wanted to find um, a Z where we're going to add. So let's say we were going to add five dollars plus maybe um, three times X, you know, for some reason. And so in this case, you know, your your new mu, your mu sub Z would equal 5 plus 3 times 1.6 and your sigma sub z would equal just the absolute value of 3 times 1.6. You would ignore uh, what you're multiplying by. You know, um, and so if we go back as 9, uh, 0.92 oh sorry not 1.6 sorry mistake there it would be 3 times 0.92. I forgot to put that in there. And so our new mean, if we went ahead and calculated that, and so our mean would be 9.8. Our new mean would be 9.8. And our new standard deviation would be uh, equal to 2.76. Um, so, uh, and I don't know the situation you know, maybe uh, per ride he gets five dollars every time he goes somewhere, and he gets three dollars per passenger extra from the company. Yeah, so that would probably be the that would be the situation here. Mr. And so that's that kind of wraps it up. So that hopefully that explains transformations with your mean and standard deviation for a, 
discrete probability distribution. So good luck. See you next time.